Today we're taking a look at the Toronto Raptors vs Los Angeles Clippers match, which is happening on Tuesday, May 4, 2021, and giving you my betting tips and predictions in general on this game. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos. The Raptors are looking for a second straight win at the Staples Center pulling off a road upset in their 121-114 win over the Lakers on Sunday. The Raptors were shorthanded, but Pascal Siakam scored 39 points and Kyle Lowry added 37 while no one else scored more than 14 points for Toronto. The Clippers are looking to find some momentum as they have lost three consecutive games after losing 110-104 to at home to the Nuggets on Saturday. The Raptors are slowly finding their best form again. They are now 27-38 for the season after beating the Los Angeles Lakers 121-114 in their previous game. Still, they have lost four of their previous six games. According to a report from Field Level Media, Lowry had a big night for the Raptors against the Lakers, matching his career best for three-pointers and going eight for 13 from long range. He finished with a season-best 37 points and added 11 assists while committing only one turnover in nearly 41 minutes. Siakam had a season-best 39 points and grabbed 13 rebounds. With a handful of their best players uncertain to play or out, the Raptors must get quality performances from Lowry and Siakam again on Tuesday. The Raptors don't have much firepower surrounding these two. The three starters alongside them on Sunday were Stanley Johnson, Kem Birch, and rookie Malachi Flynn, respectively, and these three combined to shoot 1-18 to from the field with just four total points, and they will need to play well for the Raptors to have a chance to cover. With key defenders like Anunobi and Van Vliet possibly out, the Raptors will need to either step up defensively or make more shots to compensate for their lesser defensive talent on the perimeter. The Raptors rank 23rd in defensive rating over the last two weeks as they have allowed opponents to score 116.2 points per 100 possessions in their last seven games. Fred Van Vliet sat out Sunday's game with a hip injury and his status for Tuesday is unclear, while OG Anunobi has been ruled out with a calf injury. The Clippers have their own injury concerns but they at least have Kawhi Leonard back in the lineup even if he wasn't too impactful on Saturday. The Raptors will love to complete the LA sweep after beating the Lakers on Sunday, but the Clippers have enjoyed an extra day's rest. Paul George has had a few consecutive off-shooting nights in a row, but he didn't have Kawhi Leonard available at full strength to take the pressure off of him lately. With Leonard getting two days of rest after seeing some game action for the first time in two weeks, he should play well against his former team while the rest of the Clippers get higher quality three-point attempts and hit enough of them to win by double digits. My first betting advice for that game is to pick Clippers minus nine. No matter what happens in the rest of this game, let's have fun, Lowry said. And you know I think that's one thing that we can always rally around each other is having fun. This game is a game of joy and fun, and when you're having fun, things like that happen. We just went out there and we literally just have had fun. Everybody was just having fun and that was big. The Clippers have lost a bit of momentum. They've now lost their last three games to fall to 43-22 for the season. Still, there is plenty on their side. In their previous game, they were beaten by the Denver Nuggets 110-104. to just a lot of small things that we have to continue being detailed about and understand what we are trying to do, Clippers coach Jerome Liu said. I thought Kawhi really eased into it. He didn't play with his normal pace of attacking and getting to the basket. Not playing in 9 or 10 games though, that is to be expected. Reggie Jackson scored 15 points including three three-pointers. This was Leonard's 65th straight game with at least 15 points which is the second longest such streak in franchise history and the longest since Bob McAdoo, 224 games, 1973-76. The Raptors are 3-10 ATS in their last 13 road games, 3-8 ATS in their last 11 games against a team with a winning record and 7-3 ATS in their last 10 games overall. 
the Clippers are 12-4 ATS in their last 16 home games and 0-4 ATS in their last 4 games overall. Head to head the under is 13-4 in the last 17 meetings in Los Angeles and the under is 5-1 in the last 6 meetings overall. The Los Angeles Clippers have been in decent form as they've won 11 of their past 15 games, but they will be hoping to arrest a three-game slide after falling short against the Nuggets in a 110-104 home loss on Saturday. Paul George led the team with 20 points, Rajon Rondo added 18 points with 5 assists, while Kawhi Leonard and DeMarcus Cousins each scored 16 points. As a team, the Clippers shot just 43% from the field and 14 of 34 from the three-point line as they squandered an early 11-point lead only to fall just short after cutting a 12-point deficit to just 3 points with 2.06 remaining. Leonard looked fine in his first game back from injury, while George had a night to forget as he shot just 5 of 21 from the field. The Toronto Raptors have been in decent shape as they've won 6 of their past 10 games and they will be looking to stay hot after taking down the Lakers in a 121-114 road win on Sunday. Pascal Siakam led the team with 39 points, 13 rebounds and 4 assists. Kyle Lowry drained 8 three-pointers to finish with 37 points and 11 assists on 12 of 20 shooting while DeAndre Bembry chipped in with 14 points off the bench. As a team, the Raptors shot 44% from the field and 15 of 38 from the three-point line as they struggled early and fell behind by 12 points before taking control of the game in the second quarter where they outscored the Lakers by 40-21. The Raptors then made another run in the third quarter to push the lead out to 21 points. Raptors are 3-8 ATS in their last 11 games, following a straight-up win. Raptors are 3-8 ATS in their last 11 games versus a team with a winning straight-up record. Raptors are 3-10 ATS in their last 13 road games. Raptors are 0-4 ATS in their last 4 Tuesday games. Clippers are 7-2 ATS in their last 9 home games versus a team with a losing road record. Clippers are 6-2 ATS in their last 8 home games versus a team with a road winning percent of less than .400. Clippers are 10-4. The Clippers trends are 1 to 4 ATS in their last 5 when their opponent scores 100 points or more in their previous game. 0 to 4 ATS in their last 4 games overall. 0 to 4 ATS in their last 4 after allowing 100 points or more in their previous game. While the Raptors are 4 to 1 ATS in their last 5 games playing on one day's rest. 7-2 ATS in their last 9 after allowing 100 points or more in their previous game. 7-3 ATS in their last 10 games overall. My second betting advice for that game is to pick over 221. Good luck to all of you. That's it for this video. Stay tuned and stay safe for the next betting tips and advice.